Hey guys, welcome back to another quick informed video. So today I'm doing kind of a response video of Metro PCS basically not selling phones anymore online and I'm going to give you my take on it and why I think that why they're doing this and uh, if it's beneficial to them and like I said, why. So here we go guys, I have been working in the cell phone industry, special prepaid industry for about five years, well four years now give or take. Um, and let me tell you guys, Think about the cell phone store, let's say Metro PCS, as the movie theater. Um, analogy, should I say, uh, with how prepaid carriers work and all that stuff. So, think about Metro PCS as, let's say, a movie theater. So, the movie theater is not making money off of the movies, really. They're really not, because what's going to attract it and make money for them is going to be basically the snacks or the food that they're selling. So come on guys, popcorn, they're selling popcorn for about $5 when you know you can buy popcorn for what, 50 cents of that? So they're they're really spiking that stuff up. So think about it as snacks in a cell phone store as accessories or other fees. That is basically the analysis, analogy should I say, I don't know why I said analysis, analogy to that guys. It's basically... The extra service charges that they charge you to either pay your bill, which is I believe three dollars, or the accessories that you know they're buying, you know, somewhere online and buying in bulk. So if they're buying, you know, a bunch of screen protectors like tempered glass or cases, and they're selling for fifteen, twenty dollars, I'm pretty sure they only paid about five or less dollars for that stuff, guys. Especially like I said, if you buy it in bulk, you're you're probably paying less than a dollar for some of that stuff. Which, honestly, if you can go on Amazon buy a tempered glass for five, ten dollars for a pack of two or three. So, think, think about it. And they're selling one tempered glass for about fifteen, twenty dollars. That's what they're doing. They're spiking up the price of that accessory. Now, why is it? Why was it a problem for them to sell, let's say, phones online and people just buying it? Is because people are not going to the store. Honestly, here in my current town, I don't know in your current town or city, should I say? If you drive by most Metro PCS stores, or even some Boost stores, or even Cricket stores, they're kind of dead. And I mean, it's just because everybody's going through online, you know, and it why, you know, some places they don't even charge you an activation fee if you buy your phone online. I could go to Amazon, buy a phone, activate it on Metro PCS, you know, as long as it's a GSM unlocked, and boom, there you go. I just, you know, I went over the activation fee and other fees that they might charge me in store. And then someone like me, I would buy my case from Amazon or even Walmart maybe because I know it's a lot cheaper than going to a retail store. So that's why I'm thinking it's probably they weren't having enough business in store or walk-in traffic to justify that and that's why they removed the phones. You can still see what phones they have be like, oh, we have the LG Stylo 4. You know, it costs whatever, $150, you can get it free, but you have to come in the store. It doesn't even tell you you can buy it online anymore. It just says find a store or go to the store, you know. So it's like, oh, yes, we have the iPhone 6. Oh, yeah, we have the iPhone 10. We have the LG Stylo, the Moto E5, whatever, plus. Yeah, here we go. With this, here's some cool specs. You can't buy it. You have to go to a store, and then it's the job of that salesperson to go ahead and buy it or to upsell you on a bunch of things and give you, you know, hit you with all those fees. I know I'm rambling a lot, but uh, like I said, it is the salesman job. They're working on commission, guys. So that's another thing. When you go into a retail store, special cell phone is you're working for a commission. I don't know what place wouldn't pay you commission, but it's as a salesman, it's my job to sell you everything I can. You need tempered glass. You don't. You know. You don't want this cheap tempered glass. It's gonna break. You want this more expensive tempered glass. You don't want that flimsy case, gel case. You want this better one that has. A kickstand, and then it's my job to sell you on that kickstand and case and tempered glass, and then say, "Oh, bundle! I'm gonna bundle this for you." Now nah, it ain't bundle, man. We're just going ahead and say, you know what? Uh, let me cut your deal of I'll knock off five dollars or two dollars or whatever if you buy these three items. But you well know you're still making quite a bit of profit, guys. So, in closing, stores don't make money really off of phones. I believe when I saw some. They're making maybe five or ten dollars, if that. Like I said, max. I mean, you weren't making more than twenty dollars off a of phone that you were selling, guys. Because, like I said, why? You know, Samsung selling their phones, iPhone selling their phones for that price. But we're making money, or this industry's making money in accessories 
and the extra fees, like activation fees, a lot of places never, that's another thing, places never used to charge an activation fee. $25 activation fee for prepaid, that's crazy. You usually hear it on postpaid carrier like, you know, Sprint, T-Mobile, uh, Verizon, AT&T, but prepaid like Cricket or Metro PCS, even Boost, I think, is now charging, but if it's like a family plan. That is crazy. Like I said, guys, everybody, they need money, so that's what they're doing. They're charging you guys all this. And it's pretty cool, you know, I don't mind spending $10 for activation fees and this and that, but $25, that's way too much, guys. You know, if you're going to one of those prepaid places, it's only $35. That's almost half of my monthly service that I'm gonna give you right now for what? So you can transfer my stuff over? I can do that at home, you know? <laughs> I said, next time you go into a store and you buy a phone and they're they're gonna try to sell you a case and tempered glass and all that stuff, just be like, no, nah, I already bought it on Amazon. They hate that stuff. So do I. So, you know, if anything, you like the salesman, buy some stuff, guys. But that is my video, like I said. I just honestly think that they weren't getting enough uh, walking traffic and they'd rather, you know, you go to the store so they can hit you with all the activation fees, cases, sell you bundles, all that stuff. And that's how they make money. So that's my theory, guys. Let me know in the description below if you think I'm right or wrong and why I'm right or wrong. So check it out. I'm Dragon War for a sign off. If you'd like to support the channel, you can via my PayPal in the description below. You can also check out uh, netbuddy.co. It's AT&T True Unlimited Hotspot for only $60 a month, but if you use my promo code and link in the description below, you will save $10. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.